guys as you can see she looks beautiful in the trailer all that beer juicy what's up everybody the ceo the money maker the one and only storm taker guys and we're gonna be reacting to the new season in clash of clans guys and rating all the new skins and the scenery guys uh we'll be rating everything out of 10 and guys let's just jump on into the video so guys if you're not up to date the latest season is the anime season guys i love anime i'm a sucker for anime so let's see what they did for us this season let's know more uh so first things first in the battle in the battle gold pass we have the uh anime champion so let's see how the anime champion look noise noise all right so no all right so the intro is pretty clean you have it in a nice intro there we go the anime it has a tactile graphics remind me of those borderland games that i used to play growing up um she looks good uh i think it could have been a little bit better she looks great though this is something i don't like about it that doesn't remind me of anime i can't put my finger on it I feel like the face could have done a little bit better. The body to give it more of an anime look. I feel like it has more of a tactile look than an anime look, guys. But so far, I think it's a solid skin. I would probably rate it um, a 7 out of 10. Uh, there's just something I can't put my finger on it that I don't really like. Uh, ooh. Got a Barb King. Ooh. Always oh, got like 10 abs. Yeah, that's how she should have looked it. I feel like the game graphics didn't do it justice. The anime season, guys. I feel like the game graphics didn't do her justice. If she had more of that anime look like right here, uh, everything would have been better. I feel like she didn't get this exact look. Uh, so that's why I'm going to rate her a 7. Next up, we got the uh, Barbarian King. And the Barbarian King, I ain't going to lie. Homie has a bunch of abs. Homie's looking muscular. But again, there's just something about the skin. And I will be showing you gameplay of each of these skins. There's just something ab about the skin that I don't I don't like. I don't like the running animation. I feel like they, they could have done him justice with the running animation. Um, this running animation is not the best. This attack ain't bad, but there's just something about it that doesn't scream anime to me. I feel like... I've said this multiple times before. I they always do some some weird stuff to the Barbarian King that they don't need to. They make him look very not serious. They make him look like a gag character. Um, let me show you all the uh, yeah, Royal Champion too. Cause I think, there she goes. She looks way more. She looks better than the Barbarian King. Activate the ability. We got it. Not, like, even her animation, it's way better. It's smooth. She looks good. The Barbarian King on the other end. Let's show y'all the death animation. There she is. Look at that. Right, so that's the death animation for her. And we also got a death animation for Barbarian King. Overall, guys, for the Barbarian King, I would rate the Barbarian King a 5 out of 10. We have the Grand Ward. As you guys can see, uh, the Grand Warden looks thick in this trailer. He looks like a real, he looks like Makara from Fairy Tail, if you guys know that anime. Uh, guys, but let's get on into the ratings. Let's take a good look at him in game because that's where it really matters. As you guys can see, he's the skin that's going to be coming in the shop. Uh, I'm going to lie, the spin is kind of goofy. I'm not a big fan of the uh, spin. Um, his, his dying animation is it's okay but again i feel like they went i, I went they went the goofy route instead of the more serious route with these guys so let's see how he is flying animation look oh his flying animation is sick though i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big fan of the spin oh wait when he dies in here it's so funny though i'm not gonna lie he looks better than the barbarian king and I also feel like he looks better than the Royal Champion. So for that, I'm going to give him a 8 out of 10. Uh, and let's move on to the final greatest hero of all time. We got Mommy herself, the Archer Queen, guys. 
Let's move on to the Archer Queen rating. There she goes. Damn, that girl looks good. I don't know, this is arguably the best hero in Clash of Clans, the Archer Queen. Now, let's do the rating, guys. As you can see, she looks beautiful in the trailer. All that beer. Juicy. You know, I, 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 PG, P, uh, family friendly, guys. As you can see with the Archer Queen, I love her stance. I love the animation. This is more of a fit for her. Oh, she she looks great with the with the uh, graphics overall, guys. The way she fires, I feel like this anime animation and this type of uh, uh, this suits her best out of all the other heroes. There we go. She's a solid skin, guys. Great look. The purple works perfect with the tactile look, guys. Uh, still not the best. Um, uh, not the best uh, adaptation of the anime skins I would have liked. Uh, she does also have custom sounds, but I do appreciate this skin the most. So I'm going to rank this skin a 8.5 out of 10. Guys, that's my rating for the Archer Queen. And let's go on to the final rating, guys, which is the new scenery. We got the anime scenery for $9.99 uh, Canadian. As you can see, this is one scene that's worth the gold in your frog coin purse. Uh, that's a reference to Naruto. The anime scene contains exciting places and details that will make you say "su go" whenever you're an anime fan or not. All right, so let's check out the skin, guys. As you can see, we got like uh, the most widest view we can get of the skin. All right, one thing I would say, I'm a sucker for beautiful colored sceneries like these guys so i'm gonna be a little bit biased so first things first let's start we have a little village this does remind me of naruto's um home village it looks nice uh, we got uh, uh, people doing some fishing fishing we got barbarian giants doing some fishing a lot of fishing taking place oh the ships look great these i really like the bottom side of this base how it looks uh, with the town all right over here we got two goblins oh we got goblins doing the fusion dance yo i wish they combined bro oh that is clean we got goblins doing the fusion dance yo every anime fan will love this this is a smart take take my money take my money and now we got oh they recreated the naruto waterfall this is this is nice. This is nice, guys. I ain't gonna lie. This is nice. All right, and here we have a castle. Like every isekai anime, we got the what's this? Royal champion. All right, and we got the barbarian king protecting the castle. We got two skeletons. Larry standing guard. Okay, okay, okay. We got goblins in the castle. Who put those peasants in the castle? Just people walking around on the castle walls. And now let's go on this side of the base. Oh, we have a cave. Interesting. A cave. A couple. Another ogre cave. Hmm. Is this the foreshadowing of a new troop? No, it is not. And then we got water running. So let's take another look at the entire base together, guys. Wow. See a beautiful scenery, guys. I think this is one of this is a very underrated sleeper scenery. Mm, mm, mm. I like it. I'd even get it. So guys, I'm going to rate this scenery a 9 out of 10 for me. I love the colors. I love the little Easter eggs for animes. And I just, there's just something about it that's my, that screams my type. We got a little slime in the bushes. Oh my gosh, there's so many Easter eggs here, guys. So guys, let me know what y'all think about those ratings. I'll rate the overall season. A 7 out of 10, guys. Let me know what you would rate this season. Storm Allen's out of here. Peace. Look how they be mobbing, bitch. We came up from the bottom. Can't even say the trenches. I guess we had it good until they knocked out of the